As you delve deeper into artistic anatomy, you can't help but uncover many new and interesting things. For instance, why is it when fastening a screw, the screwdriver always turns clockwise? Well, there's a good reason for this. First, let's start with the concepts of supination and pronation. The lower arm is made up of two bones, the radius and the ulna, each with a different function. The joint of the ulna allows the arm to bend, while the radius spins on its axis. At rest, these two bones sit parallel to each other, but as the radius spins, it crosses over the ulna. Now, since the hand is attached to the radius, as the radius spins, the hand turns. The act of turning the hand is termed pronation. And when the hand is fully turned so that we can see the back of the hand, we say it's in the prone position. Turning the hand back in the opposite direction is called supination. With the hand completely turned and the palm facing forward, it's referred to as the supine position. The muscles involved with pronation are the pronator teres and the pronator quadrata. The supinator muscles include the bicep, the brachioradialis, and the supinator, a smaller muscle buried under layers of superficial muscle and not visible. So getting back to our subject, the screwdriver, it takes a lot of torque or turning strength to drive in a screw. So which muscles are up to the job? The pronator muscles or the longer, stronger supinator muscles? Well, the answer is clear. It's the supinator muscles. As the supinator muscles turn the hand clockwise, so the act of turning the screw is clockwise as well. Of course, things are more difficult for left-handed people who are fewer in number. They use their pronator muscles to turn a screwdriver clockwise. Anatomy for Artists, The Human Form Revealed is now available on DVD and streaming. Visit our website at onairvideo.com.